This is C Chandler 0100, and he's without a doubt one well put together animal. Because most animals, when big herd sires, when they get 10 years old or whatever, they start to fall apart. He's still got the structure. He might have lost a little of his deep, thick mass, but he's still pretty cool. And he thinks he's cool. He knows it. He's been uh, been kind of the big boy out here at the ranch, kind of genetically and and characteristically. He's got he's got a lot of character. This bull's something else. He's a big yard pet. In bad, why don't we go up and scratch him? He's not too uh, not too wild. I'm pretty sure we could get it done. Give me a second here. Let me climb this fence. Oh, big boy. Some more scratchings. You're going to take off running again every time I scratch you and think the flies are gone. You take off like a whirlwind. Yeah. Boy, go get him. <laughs> Just never fails. It's a habit thing. He's aged pretty well. Pretty sound. And up until just two years ago, he's had a breeding group every summer. And knock on wood, he hasn't failed this at all. He's been pretty darn good other than having a poopy butt. He is pretty nice. What you thinking, big pimpin'? What you thinking? Go get the girl. Go get her. Or did you already take care of business there? Go get him, Bubby. Big stud. You big stud. Oh, yeah. Tell him all about it, boy. Go get him. And he's angry that Mr. C. Chandler is over there with the cow, and this guy's kind of next door. Kind of a dirty trick to pull on him, but I'm afraid he'd crush a cow. He's well towards 3,000 pounds, and and uh, I really we have a lot of people watch him out here off Highway 30, and uh, so I don't want him to pull a hamstring or you know cripple himself or something. And I'm not sure I could find a cow that could put up with that kind of mass. If we're going to try to have him breed one naturally, I'm sure he'd do it. He's fertile. Um, been a few years since we've used him. In natural setting and or AI uh, his genetics he's got offspring in production and herd sires that he's raised so his years are done but uh, he's a hard one to get rid of he's really good-natured he's a kind of I don't know he's a local favorite people stop and check him out all the time in fact when we take him out of his pen there will without a doubt at least within a day somebody will stop and say what happened to the bull did he pass away or something so there's a lot of people watching. He's a big dude. Kind of impressive. <laughs>